When this house was built in 1894, the heating system would have been pretty basic. The fuel of choice would have been coal. Coal would have come in through the window right here into the basement, and there was no thermostat. The homeowner was the thermostat. They would have taken that coal and shoveled it into a furnace that would have been down in the basement right underneath me here. There's a chimney right there, and that furnace would be on all winter and it would heat up the floor and, and the gentle heat would rise. Now there was no electricity, so there was no fan, but the air would come out through some registers. Here's one right here, the remnants that are still in play right here, and there would have been a little bit of heat on the first floor, but even less on the second. Up here on the second floor, there would have been a few supply registers. You can see one of the original ones right here. Now this would have been the coveted bedroom because they had a little bit of heat up here. And so there's another one on the back side here. So now we want to end up with a two zone system, one for the top floor and one for the first floor. So there's a place that they found down in the kitchen that allowed the HVAC installers to run this main supply trunk right here. And you see how beautifully they've worked together with Deliando to make the main supply trunk come and be softened in so it goes away. Here's the individual supply to each uh, room on this floor. So here, Another one to here, another one here. You can see it's hidden underneath this soffit, above the soffit. They transition beautifully to an oval to make that even smaller to feed the front portion right here. So we're going to end up with one zone on the second floor, one zone on the first floor. Now, with proper ductwork design in new work, we'd love to have a supply to every room and an individual return from every room. But we really didn't have the ability to do that here. So the return air for this system is going to come right down the stairs. So down here in the basement is where our return air works its way back. Hey, Elvis. So now it all comes from the second floor and the first floor, and it comes down into this point. Now, we don't want to have the ductwork be too low, so they're going to pan this entire bay, and that lets the air come back to our furnace right here. Alvier and his crew are doing all our HVAC. Great job so far. Thank you. I saw your beautiful stuff upstairs. Thank you. Great. So let's go through what we've got so far. We've got our existing furnace, yes. a new cold weather inverter heat pump on top here, and then the two zones right here. This one will go out to the first floor right here and upfeed the first floor. And this okay. is going to go to that supply you've sent up to the second floor. Yes. So these are these motorized dampers. We've used them before. And what I love about it, it's all color coded on the wiring for the thermostat and everything else. But also, this is how you wire the damper. Okay, and we can uh, group it. It also has this bypass eliminator so it won't make any noise coming out there. All right, so we did something different, right? We found this 92% furnace here, and instead of throwing it away, we said it's got plenty of life left. Yep. But they wanted to add a heat pump. So this is where this comes in. Take us through what makes this different. Yeah, so this is a heat pump coil. It works with a universal uh, cold weather um, inverter heat pump. It provides heating and cooling, and it makes this system, it turns this system into a hybrid. Right. And it will run the heat pump at a warmer temperature, right. and it will switch the furnace when it gets extremely cold. Yeah, okay. Uh, so gas or Gas or electric, electric yes. Okay. Uh, the heat pump normally works at a higher temperature, and then we, we can program it to switch to the furnace mm -hmm. when it gets you know, extremely cold. But what makes it different, right, is that if you wanted to add, before this came around, if you wanted to add a heat pump coil to an existing furnace, you'd have to go to the manufacturer and get their unit exactly. that would be matched up to it. So the fan would be on full and it just worked uh, as a tandem. With this, it doesn't really care what's below it. It's smart enough to do just the Modulates. right amount of output based yes. on what it, what's inside its brain out there. Exactly, yes. All right, so this thing, so homeowner can decide based on the cost of fuel, whether they want to go with gas or, or heat pump. And yes. what will this heat down to? How cold? Negative 22. <laughs> That's not bad at all. All right, so we still have refrigerant line sets that have to go from here to the out to our outside. unit. All right, take, let's take a look at that. So here's our outside condensing unit for our heat pump. So it looks like a conventional air conditioning condenser, but it's a little bit different. Yes. Right? All right, so a reminder to people, this is a heat pump. When you have an air conditioning condenser, what it's doing is finding heat inside the building and dumping it to outside. But when it's in heat pump mode, it reverses. And what it's trying to do is to find heat even in the cold air outside. So we've got to make sure that we build it up in a cold climate like this. We've got to make sure it's above the snow line and that snow doesn't come up against it right here. It doesn't cover it, right. yes. All right. So it's got some smarts too, right? Yes. 
Take us through that. Yeah, so in a regular system, we used to be um, have to use the gauges in order so to gauges troubleshoot. Gauges like this. Yeah, in order to troubleshoot and charge the system. And so with this, you're seeing the pressures on those two lines. Exactly. Uh, that's uh, to determine the refrigerant. Exactly. Uh, and so no, you'll no longer need this? No longer, no longer need to, to troubleshoot. Now we use the app and we can see everything that's going on with the system. We can see the pressures, we can see the percentage the compressor's running, and we can see the BTUs that's producing. So no more gauges? No more gauges. So it knows what it's thinking, right? Yes. So it'll tell you? It'll tell you everything. Okay. How about troubleshooting? So it'll give me alerts for anything that uh, happens with the condenser. If any parts fail, we'll know which part we have to replace. So really, what do the homeowners get here? It's got the super efficient cold weather heat pump where you put, what, a dollar's worth of energy in that gives you, what, a, for a dollar's worth of electricity, you get three or four dollars worth of equivalent heat out of it right exactly. here. You get technology that doesn't back you into a corner because you can troubleshoot it. Exactly. And they can control when they decide between using fossil fuel or electricity. Exactly. What's not to like about that? It's perfect. It's pretty good. Yeah. Thanks, my friend. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.